Okay. Okay, so now we've taken a kind of step back and taken a really squinty overview of everything. Now we can go and have another look at getting some detail in. Okay, here we go. So, um, just did a little bit before we started and I just had a look at these colours here and they look like they just got a little bit too dark. So just literally these soft uh, marks just blend the colours up again. I'm not putting any lines in, it's just blending them up. I put a bit more um, stronger lines here because these these weren't looking quite right so I've got those in a bit bit better now. Then I started to make marks here but I realised now we've got to do, we've got to get this background in here, get these a bit more realistic looking. I'm missing a, a line coming across here which is good, it's a good line to have. Just get those in a little bit thicker and rounded. So just work on this bit for now. Um, as you can see his face is looking lovely and bright but we need to get a bit more detail in there now. And just to decide which bright bits we want to keep, really. Um, we don't have to keep it all. Uh, but those, the last marks I put in are important because they're, they're quite defining and that stick really worked well. I'm really pleased with that. And when we add the green now and the light orange, it'll look, it'll look good. Okay, so we need to get a bit more brightness in there. Just still trying to take an overview here rather than look at too much detail. Just, you know, trying to Okay, so we've got this bit in here. But we'll just need to colour this first so that when we do the other hairs over the top, as you can see they're going over the top of this, and they'll uh, show up better. So we just need our orange, oranges, got the two oranges here, these two, these two here. So just looking at the colour, it's kind of quite red, so we'll put the, orange, the dark orange on first, just smooth it on very gently, just very gently, and there, got the little arm that's coming across there. Some lines coming through here. And that's a bit lighter. Okay. Then this, this is light up here, kind of light up. A bit thicker up here. As you can see, let's change the colour there, so we'll put a bit more. Bit more cream on there. Which is there. It's quite helpful if you do keep the colours that you're using in your hand if you can. Because then you know you'll be you'll be keen just to think, oh yeah, I'll I'll do that here. Got it in my hand, let's do it. And you I think you'll you'll get on better that way. Okay, so this is quite light over here, so I'm going to put the, that, you see this, this line is coming literally there. If you want to be accurate about angles and stuff like that, that's a good way just to measure, measure it against something else in the picture. There, so we've got that angle in there, that line there, and then we're going to put in this line here, which is coming in between these two bits here. And it's just a slightly in front of that, so that's about right there. Just do a line like that. And then we've got this sweeping up here across this. So it's kind of coming like that. And it, it is kind of more sort of feathery and bitty looking behind there. So we'll just do that. And these are all, they're going to be in orange, these through here. Maybe a touch of something over here. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So we'll 
I'll just make these a little bit more orangey, very gently. You don't want them too orange, and you don't want them too red, you don't want them too green. So again, it's, it's using that mixture there that needs to be a bit thicker. As you can see, it's like a, a, a tuft of stuff coming across like that. You could still put black lines through there to separate those hairs if you wanted to. In fact, I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Just need to make this a little bit more. It's a bit yellow looking. You can see how just using these three colours is going to give you all these options, different shades. Just put that through there. When you get a line that's come like that and it's got a hard edge, you could just soften it with your finger. Still hard, just just you know, just soften it up a bit. It's quite a light line that there, actually, isn't it? And then we've got another line coming down here, and one coming across here, coming from there. So they're roughly in the right place, but it doesn't, you know, it's not the end of the world. Quite red. Just down there. Now we've got some. Let's make it red. bits here. Just put a bit more pressure there to get those to show up a bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's just try with red and see see how much they show up here. don't quite show up enough I don't think so we'll use the green again so we're just measuring on this little curl here that we did before which is creamy some lines See, because I'm a detail freak, really, I do like detail. Um, I enjoy doing it. I tend to want to revert to, to that type all the time. I'm really trying to get away from that. I don't want to. I don't want to be doing detail all the time. Um, because you know, I want to show you how to do it in an easier way, a more fun way. And as soon as you start going and looking at details. Some of you will love it, Other, most people won't like it, I don't think. It's too slow, it's too slow and I don't know, it's just, you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea by any means. So I'm just trying to show you how, how I would go about this, but in a, in a more general way, rather than looking too much at the detail. Now these are going through here. They're a bit redder, so we'll just go a bit with red pencil, just gradually, just slightly, just to get that feel there. You can see some other lines in there, but hardly discernible. So when you see that, you want to put them in in, in red. That would be good. That would be nice. You know, the orangey red. We've got some little 
I just want to show you that, see, you keep wiping the black off the top of the pencil, but it's not overly sharp. None of them are. But the lighter touch, I know I keep saying it, but the lighter touch will give you nice fine lines. You don't need a, a point on it all the time. What I did notice when I was sharpening my pencils yesterday, and um, it would be interesting for you to know, that when I, because um, I haven't used these um, Stabilo pencils very much at all, <clears throat> um, when I sharpen them in my, my way where I put them just down, straight down on the surface. I've actually I've got a video that you can go and have a look at to show you how I sharpen my pencils. I actually put them right down on the surface and then go like like this with my pencil. So it's right on the surface like that. Um, they kept breaking. One of them kept breaking. It was the the really dark pinky red 325. In the end I had to put it in the pencil sharpener. Uh, which I was really surprised at but some of the colours you see will be softer than others. It's just the way they're made up. So I thought that was interesting to, I was surprised. See, they've lost half a pencil there because it just kept breaking. But what I do is if I've got little bits, I keep them. Because, you know, for little tiny bits or making up powder that you want to um, add to another picture, say, and then put it on with a brush, these little bits are quite handy. So you could keep them if you wanted to. Um, I, I tend to do that, I keep them, I've got a little tub that I keep them in and then just use them like that for some time in the future. Okay, so let's get on with our bits. Now these are looking lovely, the, the way these come across here. Just getting some of the directions of the hairs. Just absolutely lovely. If you can find a picture that you like, then all you have to do is copy it. You know it's going to come out nicely then. Which is, well, really that the line we're going from is, is up here. Um, I always do a little bit extra, just in case you decide to make the picture a little bit bigger. You've got some there, otherwise it's a bit of a, another salvage job thing. Just soften up those lines so they look like they're coming from, from nowhere or underneath something. Just soften them up a bit. And you can even just do that with it if you want to. So we've got something going on here, and we've got a lot of little feathery bits in between these. See how fine you can get with a pencil like this? It's just all in the... Get these a bit red over. Ivory colour was quite the right thing there. The cream and the cream and the pink we needed. Okay, now we've got some. We've got a little bit here that these here can be less. Some of this over them. These have got lines coming through. Just soften those up a bit.
possibly could be orange and red together. Let's have a look. Although we've worked out the colours, that we're actually applying these colours on different bases all over here now, because we've actually put a bit of base on. And that means that they're gonna, they're not gonna be coming out exactly as we did on our little um, you know, test piece to test and make the colours. They're, they're going to be different all over, which, in fact, will give it a much more realistic look. Okay, now this is dark, but it's, it's covered over with the light hairs. And there's a bit more I've shown here. done this I'll cover it over with this so that I can lean on it. Just thought it'd be good to do this now so we get a much better feel for his face. Um, I'll just get on with this. Right I'm going to go from this bit here so I don't get lost. So this bit here has got that nice line coming straight from this going to use her that colour there blend it in a bit might put a bit of black in there maybe just that's there that's to be orangey. Yeah, there's some orangey lines in there. See we've got another little curl here. It's it's coming up behind this one. So we'll, we'll do it like that. So this is this is kind of this really. I need to make that a bit more silvery, don't I? A bit more. with that orange I think you can see it better that's what we're doing there that's the other bit there
ますね Got all this, I'm gonna get this all in behind here so I've got those right, so this needs coming up here to be prepared. is coming. Going like that really. Okay, six. Need to come across here. in there. do when I've done these bits I, I, I will step back again to see whether they look all right whether it looks a bit of a mess that's what I tend to do I just tend to I try and step back a lot more these days and focusing in on the detail it does help it really does Doing that in a bit of white, I think. And this white streak coming across here. See if it's white and silver. Just picks up those little hairs a little bit. Not too much because 
and there's not a lot of light there. They're white hairs, they're, they're coming out grey actually, but because they're over the black, then they'll come out grey anyway. And all this, that, that needs to be a bit darker before we do anything else on there, because that is pretty dark. So I'll just go over that with the black and then I'll, I'll just um, finish off for now. Just try this black side of the pencil, just darken it down a bit. Those marks are in the right place, um, they're doing the right kind of thing, they're just a bit too light. So we don't want to get rid of it all, because we we'll to use that. It's a little bit there that's quite nice. Now we've done the background, we can kind of do something on the edge of his fur there. Fur hair, sorry. We ain't doing a cat. Just soften it there. So it's coming like that. It's going to be mounted like that. This kind of hair that these terrier dogs have is all bitty and licky, isn't it? Over their back. Just blend that over. This is a different black. So it will be slightly different from what I put on before. I'm just trying to get a bit more of a textured look there without going mad putting a mass load of pastel on. You don't need to do that. Um, what's I been looking at? Yeah. This, there's a nice uh, bit here, kind of coming about there. Measuring it on that little bit there. finish now then come back to it so it's right there okay I'm gonna finish now see if my little thing works